Hello everyone, so in this video we are going to see programming paradigm and its type. Before starting object oriented programming, we should know what is paradigm and in which type of programming paradigm object oriented programming fits. So let's break down what is paradigm and programming paradigm. Paradigm is a term refer as a method to solve some problem. So if you are solving any problem with a method, so you can say that is a paradigm. Then simply what is programming paradigm? So it is an approach to solve a problem using some programming language. So if you are solving one problem using programming language, then you can simply say that paradigm is a programming paradigm. Now let's see the types of programming paradigm. First we have imperative programming paradigm and second we have declarative programming paradigm. Now let's break down imperative programming paradigm. So it is a paradigm which focuses on how program should achieve the end result. So any paradigm or any approach which is following this definition then you can say that approach or paradigm is a imperative programming paradigm. So inside imperative programming paradigm we have a logical programming paradigm and one approach called database processing and functional programming paradigm. We use logical programming paradigm to solve problems like puzzles and series and the language that uses logical programming paradigm is Prolog. Second database programming approach so it is based on data and its movement and this approach satisfies our definition of imperative programming paradigm and at last we have functional programming paradigm. So here data are loosely coupled to function and then the language that satisfy functional programming paradigm are Perl, JavaScript, SQL, Scala, Erlang, Lisp. Next we are going to see declarative programming paradigm. So it focuses on what the program should accomplish. So in terms of definition both imperative and declarative may sound similar but they are very different. So in the imperative we saw how the program should achieve the end result and in the declarative we are saying what the program should accomplish. So that is a huge difference between imperative and declarative. And under the declarative programming paradigm we have object oriented paradigm, parallel processing approach and procedural programming paradigm. So in object oriented paradigm program is written as a collection of classes and object. It almost handle all real life programs. For example, Simula, Java, C++, Objective-C, .NET, Python, Ruby and Smalltalk are the programming languages that they are under the object oriented programming and which satisfy the definition of declarative programming paradigm. Next we have parallel processing approach in which we divide our program instructions among multiple processors. For example, NESL, C and C++ are some language that support parallel processing approach and they satisfy the definition of declarative programming paradigm. And at the last we have procedural programming paradigm, the ability to reuse the code. We have C, C++, Java, ColdFusion and Pascal, the languages that satisfy the definition of procedural programming language and they also satisfy the definition of declarative programming paradigm. Thank you everyone.